I bet you can guess which right wing media personality loved DeSantis ad, loved the DeSantis ad that intersperses homophobia with oiled up shirtless <laughs> muscly men. All right, chat, take a guess which right wing commentator went crazy about the DeSantis ad that had homophobia with oiled up glistening big body men, big body boys, almost butt ass naked big body boys. Map Walsh Crowder. That's a good guess. Walsh or Knowles? You guessed it. It's Knowles. And DeSantis is being pilloried, not just by the libs, but by the squishes on the right for an ad that people are saying is homophobic. Here's the ad. I will do everything in my power to protect our LGBTQ citizens. Is this a real ad? Hello? Wait, does he have like, does he have like TikTok Zoomers? Wait, did they actually go the Biden route of like hiring TikTok Zoomers to be a part of his ad campaign? Bro is not going anywhere. Can you imagine we were scared about this guy? Holy crap. Can you imagine that? People were doing think pieces about how scary this guy is. Holy sh What's going on? Dude, this was the boogeyman. This is the scary guy. Everybody was like, holy crap, boy, we're so scared of this DeSantis guy. He's a clown. Hong Kong, red nose, floppy shoe, rainbow, afro clown, dude. What's going on? He's got the squirty flower and everything. <laughs> what is the, this is crazy. This is a real ad. It's got a hyper pop. It, they should do that they should they should he should use some of the donation money to license 100 gex to play over his pro homophobia ad he 100 percent should do it yeah i will do everything in my power to protect our lg btq citizens but caitlin jenner would walk from hanging out with bruce jenner from holding up a rainbow flag do you know? So here's the thing. The craziest thing about this is that I know even DeSantis's core voter base, like the 65 year old, like racist people are not going to be able to understand this ad. They won't get it like they their brains are physically incapable of understanding this. They can't do it. You, you're not going to. I'm sorry. DeSantis's voter base is not going to be like 25 year old Twitter users. It's not happening. This is so bro has no clue how to make a real ad. <laughs> using any bathroom she chooses. Is that her? In the future. Can bro, look at that. Look how poorly this is made. Holy shit. You can't read that. You can't read that. Look at this. How long was this on screen for? One, any two, she chooses. two and a half seconds. It was like three editing is a, oh yeah, I'm an editor. I'm an editor. Editing is my passion. I love editing. I love editing. You know, the craziest thing about it is that like, it started to clip off of the screen. Even if you were fast enough to read the entire thing in two seconds, by the time you were getting down to the bottom line, you wouldn't even be able to see like the beginning of these words and the end of these words, they were getting cut. In the cut. future, can transgender women compete in Lady the Naga. Yes. Make America She's a, a drag queen who's pro-Trump. And then DeSantis comes in and just says, no. What the fuck? Oh yeah, bro's not going anywhere. The Patrick, ba he actually, oh, oh, not the Patrick Bateman meme. Not, not the alpha male Patrick Bateman meme. I only fuck men so I so women don't drain my testosterone. Spending too much time, you know putting your dick in a bitch who's taking a uh who's taking a birth control, your dick can absorb the estrogen and give you um and give you a pussy, you know that? That's why I don't fuck women. That's why I don't fuck with women. <laughs> this frame is perfect. You're actually right. Wait one second. Wait one second. Let me Oh yeah, that's good. Oh yeah, that's that's good. <laughs> that's a good that's a good one right there. Oh, that's a good. Now this is peak. Okay, okay guys. Now this is epic. He's Pat he's literally Patrick Bateman. Now this is epic. As you can see, he's Patrick Bateman because he likes to kill women. This is epic. <laughs> You see all these like Sigma male memes, Patrick. What was that? 
You can't. I can't even read these. Me and this Patrick Bateman. There, I can't. I couldn't read. I literally couldn't read that. What's with these effects? I can't read it. What's happening? <laughs> Slow down, please. I'm begging. <laughs> I can't. I tried to read it. I started to read it, but then it like they, he put the the, the flash. I got like flash banged. The signs of draconian. Look at that! It, it keeps LGBT doing that. Bill. I can't read it. The sand is an active wave of love. You see the Chad meme guy, like super strong guy. Has yeah. Shut down. The sand is unstoppable. Chad meme guy. You see the Chad meme guy? He said the rational what? Humanist report showed up in in his ad. Mike Figueredo, friend of the stream, Mike F Figueredo, the Humanist Report, showed up in a, <laughs> showed up in a, like a, a, a shitty internet DeSantis ad. That's crazy. That's crazy. DeSantis public enemy number one. Some of the harshest, most draconian laws that literally threaten trans existence. Congratulations, Rock Sands. Mission That's a good thing for you. You win. This governor does not care to send us on a crusade. My favorite thing about it is that he still can't. Have you heard him read off any of the headlines that were clipped? Because I haven't heard him read off one because he can't read it. He's like, this is a great ad and he can't read it. He can't understand half of it. A real wolf who finally arrived. Wolf of Wall Street. So really leaning into this. Online. Oh my. What was that? What is that? Who's this? That's not DeSantis. That is not what bro looks like. That is not what bro looks like at all. What do you, what are you doing? What are you saying, man? Have you seen this man in real life? Do I love how conservatives always make their, always make their like, their, their politics daddies all big and strong and oiled up and covered in muscles. Bro's got, bro doesn't have a muffin top. Bro has a cake top. But where's this picture? The pre descent, pre governor DeSantis. And also this is what, a, this is what a good suit makes you look like. This is what happens when you take it off. Bro, that shirt's fighting for its goddamn life. Look at that thing. It looks like the it looks like the top of a like a like a toad head from Mario, <laughs> which is fine. It's always tummy time, brother. I feel you, man. But like, don't you sit here and start post. Don't you sit here and start posting shit like this when this is what you look like. OK, nobody cares about their politician being able to being able to like a uh, crack a cantaloupe between his thighs. Nobody cares. Stop being weird. You don't look like this. You'll never look like this. Wall Street. So really leaning into this online Sigma male, socially conservative. No, we're not going to tolerate this rainbow pride stuff anymore. The term you're looking for is chronically online. I would like to tell I would like to tell you that chronically online. Somebody who even understands that joke is chronically online. I only understand the joke because my job is being online. Why is C3PO there? This, he, he was at Disney World, remember? Disney owns, uh, D Disney owns uh, Star Wars. Bro, like, like the, kids who, 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 the kids who understand this, either one, are not voting for DeSantis, or two, can't vote. <laughs> I think it's a great ad. I think it's a great ad. One, because it's funny. It's not. It's funny. a self-aware ad. I don't think it's anybody not. really believes that Ron DeSantis is going to be, you know, instituting Sharia law and throwing homosexuals off rooftops, right? No. That's what you got. That's what you got from the ad. That's what you got from the ad. He was like, oh, it's a great, oh, it's a great ad. They joke about killing people. That's what, that's the funny part. We should make an, we should like bankroll an ad of, well, not me, but here, oh, let me, let me take myself out of it. I think it would be quite curious if somebody bankrolled an ad of somebody beheading all of the Daily Wire boys and Candace Owens. I think it'd be curious. I wouldn't support it. I would not, you know, I would not like the, as a joke, it'd be funny. And you would do it because it'd be funny. They will, they would do it because it'd be funny. The people who work at Daily Wire, it's just, you know, it's just fun. It's self-aware. It's a self-aware meme. Self-aware meme. It's so self-aware. I love how self-aware it is. Of course, of course, these people will be throwing an absolute fit. They'd be throwing a fit if something like that happened. Are you crazy? Did Biden should release like a dark Brandon meme 
uh like ad where he like where he takes a shotgun to a doll of uh DeSantis and Trump and he goes bang bang and he blows them apart <laughs> he goes I'm Joe Biden and I hate division that's why and and that's why I became your president and I'm killing the competition bang bang <laughs> two tap <laughs> you know how crazy that would go you don't even know how you don't even dude i would lose my mind if he did that that he that would lose my mind if he would did if he did that i'm not gonna i'm not a joe biden stand but that's crazy that'd go crazy <laughs> that'd go crazy the republican cringe needs to stop it needed to stop a long time ago that's my, now I wouldn't support that. I wouldn't condone that. Nobody really believes that, but the ad with all of its Sigma male, Patrick Bateman kind of vaporwave aesthetic is, is showing people a, a real aspect of his political legacy and his accomplishments, which is we're not going to enshrine spe what own the libs? special protections for this disordered view of human nature. We're going to be nice to people. We're going to tolerate things within reason, but you're not nice. And you're not going to no, tolerate we're gonna roll back the pride movement that's now made it all the way into your kid's kindergarten classroom. And it's really, really good. And he's smart to go after Trump on this. <laughs> he's smart to attack Trump on this uh, after he like pretended to care about uh, trans people. He's not, we're not even going to pretend. What's up with this guy? Somebody said, what's up with this guy's nails? And DeSantis is, is there something wrong with his nails? Wait a second. Chat. Enhance. Is something up with his nails? It's kind of hard to tell from the video, but look at him. He's so, he's such a baby. Look at the way he has no clue what to do with his hands. He looks like such a baby here, right? Is it just me? Look how baby he looks. I don't want to be that guy, but <laughs> I'm not going to say anything more than that. I don't know. I can't, I can't tell. Apparently there's something up with his nails. Does he have, did he just recently get like a, a manicure or something? I don't know. Can't tell. He does have iPad kid energy. <laughs> Actually, you're right. You are so right. That is crazy. That is crazy. He has no clue what to do with his hands if, if he's not holding an iPad with, with one of those industrial bumper guards on it that, that weighs three times as much as the iPad itself. Crazy. Oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. If you're enjoying the content, hit the subscribe button. If you don't, it'll make Boo very sad. I know a bunch of you who are watching are not subscribed. Join the frenzy. You won't regret it. <laughs> Thank you, Boo.